It's been a week and a half since this video surfaced showing San Francisco gallery owner Collier Gwynn spraying down an unhoused person outside his business. Reverend Amos Brown, the president of the San Francisco chapter of the NAACP, says he has since talked extensively with Gwynn about the incident. Brown says he disagrees with District Attorney Brooke Jenkins' decision to charge Gwynn, but he was careful not to criticize that decision. I'm not interested in punitive justice. I'm interested in restorative justice. Collier Gwynn was not available for comment when we arrived at his gallery. Instead, a person who says he's an employee there told us through a speaker in the door that Gwynn was taken into custody yesterday, cited and released. He said Gwynn does not have an attorney. Reverend Brown says he's been in communication with Gwynn since last week. He has confessed. He has said he's sorry. I have spoken with him several times. Reverend Brown is far more critical about the way the city is handling the unhoused and the city's growing drug crisis over the last few years. He noted recent break-ins at his church, Third Baptist, and other congregations in the city. Because the body politic of this city has not dealt with the issue of the unhoused in a comprehensive, holistic, compassionate way, we end up being in this kind of an unfortunate situation. Reverend Brown says the incident with Gwynn could be a teachable moment when it comes to the unhoused. He says it's everyone's responsibility to deal with the situation, including those who are unhoused. Even a person who's without a house should show the responsibility. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.